Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make a travel watercolor painting kit that will completely fit inside a travel baby wipes box. And you can find these little travel baby wipes boxes at our sponsor, Craft Chameleon. Um, they've been really hard to find. I, about a year ago, I did a quick tip on how I made my um, stamp cleaner, and I just took some painter's pads and put them inside a wipes box. And I used one side to spray with my cleaner, and I scrubbed my stamp, and then I dried it on the dry side. And people were telling me they couldn't find the travel wipes box boxes anywhere. So I was so happy to see that um, Punch Place Plus is now carrying them. They've got a shipment of them, um, probably because they're, they're been discontinued by a lot of companies, so they were trying to get rid of them. But anyways, they have them. And then I thought it would be great for making a little travel uh, kit. So I've got 12 sheets of watercolor paper there, some paper towels, a couple water brushes. So I have my water source, um, a little piece of credit gift card for a scraper tool, and a white crayon for resist effects. And then to hold my paints, what I'm going to use here are these little Alta caps. And you probably remember the video where I showed you how to decorate these and do jewelry with them um, a couple months ago. And I'll put a link to that in the video description but um, I thought they're perfect because they're shallow and they're not going to take up a lot of space and if I put artist quality watercolors in there it'll be perfect I also like because you won't need a bunch of them you won't need that much and I also like how um, how I can kind of put them in rainbow order so I'll know what colors I'm putting down because sometimes with the artist's watercolors they're so dark they look so dark when you squirt them out of the tube it's hard to tell what they are so this will um, be perfect I can do my split primary palette. I can have two reds, two yellows, two blues, and then I can have my sap green and a violet and um, my burnt sienna and my yellow ochre. So that's why I decided to use these colored caps. And it's also a great way to use the leftover ones that I never ended up making jewelry with. So perfect. But if you didn't have these, you could always um, find some blister packaging. You could use bottle caps, maybe like the e the eco-friendly ones so they don't stick up too much because if you want to have room for your paper and your um, and everything else. I was thinking that maybe I didn't stick that one down enough. No, that one's all right. I was thinking one of these, maybe I didn't get enough glue on, but I guess I did. So for my watercolors, what I'm going to use is my core watercolors, and that's mainly because um, I like that they're, they, they really are, um, they have a lot of, you know, they pack a big punch basically, and they dry really hard. So what I'm doing is just putting like a very thin coat so it doesn't extend past the, um, past the rim. Whoops, that's still, I just want to make sure I don't waste any. I love these colors. Um, so that way, when they dry out and I put my other stuff on top, they're not going to, they're not going to get on anything. And I will leave this open to dry um, so that I don't have to worry about, um, you know, about them getting stuck to anything else. So I'm just going to go through and fill up my palette and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're all, when it's all filled up. As I was looking through my paints, I actually decided I wanted to put one more color in there. And uh, so I'm just going to sneak in one more of these little Elta caps and pop it down. And I wanted green gold. Sometimes with my travel palettes, I take this opportunity to use some colors that I don't typically use in my in-studio palette. And um, green gold is one of those colors. I'm just going to get the, I just got some some paint from the, ne the neighboring palette on there because it's not dry yet. I'm just going to put a little bit of that. And like I mentioned, with the core colors, they're very, they're very strong, so I don't need that much. And the reason I wanted to use these larger um, rounds is because I like to use bigger brushes sometimes. Even these water brushes, I mean, this one's pretty wide. I want to make sure that I'm not going to bump into the color next door while, um, while I'm working. So I have to let this dry overnight. Now, something that I'll probably do is that I'll pop open the little lid there, like when I get done painting for the day, and let air circulate in there. Um, so that way I can keep it closed away from dust and everything, but the air can still circulate, especially if I am camping and I don't want anything set in there, but I still want the air to get through there. I have that option. So that's really nice. Um, and then again, I mean, you could always have one of these for tissues or baby wipes, even if you wanted to have a quick and easy cleanup and bring two of them along. I think that's a great idea. So then to pack it up, what I would do is I would just put in my little uh, credit card scraper. I have to kind of ease that in there a little bit because I, I put that extra pan in there. My white crayon, which I might actually break in half so that it fits there a little bit better. I'll do that. Um, and then I've got my two water brushes. 
and then I'm gonna put this stuff in like a Ziploc bag just to just to keep it from um, like if I finish a painting I don't want any like wet paint to dribble in there and then I can put that all in there together and close it up because it will fit I just don't want to close it up right now that I've got my paint drying I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today you can find all the supplies I use the wipes boxes and the Alta caps from our sponsor craft chameleon formerly punch place plus I want to show you this other idea um, if you have any of the other Alta caps these little dog tag ones fit the top um, little latch little little lid there perfectly so I thought I had this extra one I would just glue it right there and then I would always know this is mine in case you're doing like a class you could also number it there um, it'd be a very inexpensive way to create palettes for a class full of people because you could just buy the tubes of paints squeeze them out and then hand them out as you go so it's a great great affordable solution for any of you teachers out there I want to thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share it with your crafty friends until next time happy crafting